my name is Crystal Ambrose, also known as Crystal Ocean, and I hail from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas. And I'm also the founder and director of an organization called the Bahamas Plastic Movement. And subsequent to this, I'm also an intern here at Grid Arendelle. The Bahamas Plastic Movement, uh, we're an environmental nonprofit. Uh, we've been in operation for about four or five years now, uh, which is still really surreal. We're the most grassroots organization you can imagine. I like to call it a backpack organization because it goes wherever I go. And we're solely ran by volunteers. And um, our organization functions under four pillars, research, education, citizen science, and policy change, all as it relates to plastic pollution and finding solutions for it for the Bahamas and also uh, for the wider world. <laughs> My project is fairly multi multifaceted uh, here at GRID. It's actually really exciting to work on. So about five years ago, I started a project called the Plastic Beach Project, which aimed to look at the spatial and temporal trends of plastic debris and marine debris in general as it moves around the southern portion of the island of Eleuthera, which is the island in the Bahamas. And uh, this was a citizen science initiative that allowed me to bridge the gap between community and science and get the average layperson onto the beach with me to collect data to understand how plastic was moving, where it was coming from, if it was local debris versus long range uh, transport coming from another country or some other part of the ocean. Um, so now that I'm back in grad school, I really wanted to grab the bull by the horns and figure out what this data was saying. You know, how can I understand where this debris is coming from? Um, so that's what I'm looking, that's the first part of the project is trying to understand the spatial trends um, of this plastic, how it moves around the Bahamas. Now, that is now being merged with work being done here at GRID on predictive mapping, which is taking a closer look at the data that I've already gathered and looking not only at accumulation rates, but what's driving that accumulation. Is it the geographics, or the geography, sorry, of the beach? You know, wind and wave patterns, the currents, uh, what's actually bringing all this beach onto beaches in the Bahamas? And can we use GIS to maybe look at the coastline, look at these beach dynamics, and see if we can predict how much debris is going to come onto the beach, uh, what is going to drive it onto the beach, and using this information, can we create a marine debris management plan? Like writing is hard, but I tend to overthink every little thing, whereas in the field I can see what I'm doing, I can see what people are doing, I can guide people in the right way, and here it's like, um, I'm very independent obviously, but this is a different type of independence. Like figuring out things on your own, even though I don't have to, I have a lot of support here at GRID, um, the support is amazing, but figuring things out on your own, trying to really dig deep into your data, looking at this graph and not just saying, oh, this is so pretty, look at this, is this a trend, but actually trying to understand like, all right, what does this all mean? So that's, that's the scope. Um, so yeah, I'm a month and a half in, I got a month and a half left. Can we do it all in three months? Time will tell, but I'm really hopeful.